Oh. Oh god. I have a lot of good advice. And this is really important. Your heart and your soul is your biggest guide. Not a religion, not a guru, not a therapist, not another person. Ultimately, you still know what's best for you and what your journey should be. The most important thing that we can ever learn in this life is compassion. We become ourselves to the degree that we make everybody else ourselves. So when it comes to certain things that, are, that you would consider as negative, to be negative, those feelings um, might last a week or a day or a month or a year, but they don't last forever. Everything is temporary, even the bad stuff. I want to tell all young people to take as many naked pictures as they can because you get older and your body changes and you're going to kill for the body that you had when you were younger. So take some naked pictures. Don't share them with anyone. Keep them to yourself, but have them forever. My advice to you is to not take anyone else's advice. Hurt people hurt people. And healed people heal people. A lot is two different words, not one. So stop spelling a lot like it's one word. One of the most important things we can all do in our own lives is take responsibility. That sounds so wanky, but take responsibility <laughs> for our, the part that we play in whatever's happening in our life. Talk to your kids uh, the same way you would talk to uh, your best friend. Never talk down to them. Don't assume that they don't know things because you would be amazed at what they can show you. Making mistakes help you learn. What you give out is what you're going to get. So I guess my advice would just be to give out positive energy out there and, you know, just good vibes and in return you'll get that back. Just go out there and do it and uh, not, uh, not be frightened of uh, rejection. When you get out of your own stuff and start feeling for somebody else, that's really when you have a, uh, a better outlook on life. The best way to get to the other side is to go through it. Mind your mouth. Watch what you say to people and about people because it will find you. Who cares about what other people think and do what you feel good about doing? Find a woman who makes you laugh and marry her. Never let anybody put a period where you put a comma. Be kind to yourself. Live life truthfully and to its fullest. That's it. Listen to your own heart, your own intuition, and let that guide you more than anything else. Just be good to others and you'll get good in return. One of the big things I think is to treat people with dignity and with respect. Treat people with kindness, respect, be on time. When all you have inside you is is sad, that's all you can give. And it's really important to remember that, I think, when people are hurtful, because you realize it's not you, it's what they have to give. Whatever you want to do, literally whatever it is, you can do it. There's three things that we're really in control of. What goes into our mouth, what comes out of our mouth, and our perception. America, I implore you to stop using the word awesome all the time. Enjoy your life and not, not, not settle for something less than what you dream that you really want to do because it's what everybody else is doing or what your parents or your family expects of you. You know, just be open to evolving um, as a human being. It's different to, oh, it's all my fault and I need to, you know, blame myself for it, but more like there's a, there's a power to be found in understanding that if there's a pattern in your life, the only thing that's consistent and that band is probably you. Really take account of all the blessings that you have, that, that I have, that we all have in our life. Um, man, it can change the whole lens through which you experience life. You should never think that there's one way or one window of opportunity or just one path. It's just like all everything is, is just a room like the whole world is just a room full of windows. Don't take things personally. Life is not personal until you actually have an actual relationship with somebody and you make those commitments to be personal toward each other. No matter how hard you think it is, the only way to get to the other side of it is to go right on through it. Keep plowing ahead. And I think it's really important to, to always check in with yourself and make sure that you're really doing what you want to be doing. Because if you're not, you should switch. Never let anybody stop you where you want to keep going. It's not like, 
you are like, oh, I'm miserable, and then I get this thing I want, and then I'm happy. That doesn't doesn't work that way. You have to like actually have the thing in your body. So like whatever it is you want, you're like, oh, it feels like this, and then you make that feeling in your body. You just figure it out, and then all of a sudden, the world has to like match your internal hologram. Do what you love to do for a living. I think that's really important to be passionate and and dedicated to what you do and also really love your life. But if we really kind of look at what we're putting in and what we're putting out there and, and how we choose to perceive things, and then, then we're pretty much in control of just this right here. Well, I think it, you just have to remember um, that people are people and um, you know they, they have a reason to be here. Be kind and, and be open. Be confident in yourself. Believe that you can get good grades, believe that you can make the volleyball or cheer team, because if you believe and visualize yourself doing it, then you'll go for it. Trust the people you hire to do the job you hired them to do. You only have one life to live, so do the best you can every day. Stay positive, stay prayerful, stay focused, you'll be good. That's the best advice I ever Why did I become Oprah? What happened? How fast time flies. Uh, and this is out to this is actually really uh, anybody who's... Uh... And it always starts with creating how it feels in your body. You know, so yeah, yeah. there's an element, and there's, but there's a power to it because it means that it's then changeable and you're not like... So as opposed to just like a bad day or like a negative thought or whatever it may be, it's, it's actual feedback.